In his opening remarks, Executive Director, Environmental Rights Action and Friends of the Earth Nigeria, Dr. Gaudin Uyiojo, underscored the urgency for a global shift in fossil fuel energy to clean renewable energy as a response to curbing climate change. Dr. Uyiojo added that although Nigeria has ambitious plans to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 20% in 2020 and 45% in 2030, there is no policy change to achieve this. He urged the federal government to include a budget line for research and development in alternative sources of energy such as solar, wind, hydro, etc. The federal government budget office had the amount over 17 billion for the purchase of power generating sets and diesel in the national budget for 2017. We wish to state categorically that the federal government and the levels of governance should immediately place a ban on the importation of power generating sets for ministries, departments and agencies in the country. In a paper presentation on mapping out strategies and training on sales point expansion of renewable energy products, the regional manager of Solar Sister, Chinenye Anikwe, said to reduce the environmental and health effects of depending on firewood for energy, especially at rural level. Access to renewable energy products must be sustained as over 70 million Nigerians in rural communities do not have access to the national grid. The event featured display of some renewable energy products such as solar lights, inauguration of Otorodo Community Energy Committee and a question and answer session. Before this time next year, from what I see, the entire community will be part of uh, renewable energy. Working with the federal government um, to reduce or remove uh, import uh, levies and taxes on renewable energy equipment. The renewable energy committees have been formed in different places. So this committee carries out what we call orientation and reorientation. I think this initiative is an ingenious idea that only error amongst other civil society organization is championing today. The Stakeholders Consultative Workshop for Promoting Renewable Energy Products ended with a communique on the outcome. Sonny Duke Okosun reporting.